Hi, welcome back to Linux Gaming Review, and today we're going to uh, talk about, instead of talking about our uh, games, we're going to talk about our desktop environments right now, a little bit right now. Now, the Linux world's shaking up a little bit. Uh, there's some new contenders into the uh, desktop environment market. You know, we've all gotten used to uh, stuff like uh, GNOME 2, uh, KDE, E17, which is a little less popular, but it's very nice. Um, you know, uh, XFCE, I think it is, and uh, you know several other ones. And we've got lots of choice as well. Recently, Ubuntu has decided to uh, deviate from their tradition of using uh, GNOME, and they have developed their own desktop environment called Unity. And uh, GNOME 2 is on its way out and being replaced with GNOME 3 and GNOME Shell, which is what I'm running here. Now, some of the major complaints about GNOME is lack of custom customability. Now, this isn't exactly true. There have been some new changes that are in it that are going to actually benefit customizing your desktop. Uh, as you can see, this doesn't exactly look like the stock GNOME 3 shell. I've actually rethemed it. Uh, you can go and you can get some plugins that will allow you to go through and do themes. Uh, here I've got a few installed just for showing off. I actually use one of them. Uh, and once you add this to this extension, you can go through and uh, change it around a little bit with previews. Just click on uh, one you want to use and then give a second and it'll switch over. Um, these are all different ones that are made by different users. Uh, GNOME Look is added in some uh, a new section for GNOME shells and uh, GTK3 themes which are uh, required for use with uh, GNOME 3. And as you can see I've got uh, quite a few here. Uh, some other extensions that have been added by myself. Uh, let's see, I've added uh, I've added this button here which allows me to access my applications menu. I don't have to be uh, into the application activities panel to use it. I can use it from anywhere. Uh, the, you've got this down here whenever if you're using Gwibber or Pigeon or any other instant messaging program, GNOME 3 will automatically give you this little pop-up at the bottom when your messages come in. That's new. You can actually click on it and set it up to open up the window for whatever program it is and do your replies. I've also added an extension for distro theming. Uh, it doesn't have to be a distro logo. I can put anything I want here. Uh, you can see I've got me a little Linux Mint icon. Now all my games are still working fine. Uh, I'm having no trouble, but I really think GNOME 3 is going to be the uh, direction that a lot of people are going to go. A lot of people really don't like it right now because it's new, it works a little different, it, but it doesn't have its perks. As you can see I've got three windows open up over here. I've got two things open over here. I keep a little cheat sheet for all my uh, uh, different uh, commands and uh, stuff. I uh, Here's something from when I'm recruiting people in uh, Lord of the Rings Online. I've got my Firefox up here. Uh, let's see, if I want to go and move this, I would go to my Activities tab. I can just grab it, click it, throw it on a new one, and it automatically, automatically makes me a clean desktop. And uh, here I've got this. Uh, for those of you who play Lord of the Rings Online, this is their website. You know it well. And please ignore the cats in the background. Uh, there's all kinds of uh, new features. And I just want to show off a little bit of GNOME 3. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you here next time. Until then, enjoy Linux and keep on gaming.